Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Wilkerson Steckel and this is Storytime with Tracy. I'm really excited because this is very special. I'm actually going to be starting one of five books today in a series written by Linda Sund. She's actually friends with my friend Leanne, so I feel extra special. We actually have four of the books on hand, but she's actually mailing us a fifth one today. So I'm pretty excited. This is actually Meet Knack. It's the first one. And we're going to be meeting their pet raven that they had many years ago. He's a very, very special friend they had. He was part of their family. And I hope you enjoy this, this story as much as I do. It's just really sweet. This story is by Linda Sund, and it is illustrated by Dennis Pru. Meet Mac. He's a black bird. He is a raven. Hawk! One day, Mac tumbled out of a tree from his nest and onto the ground. All Mac could do was cry. Brian was on a tractor. He was digging and digging and digging. He looked on the ground and saw something moving. Brian heard a loud noise. It was Mac, a cute black baby raven. Mac was yelling, Brian put Mac on a towel to keep him warm. He put the baby bird in a box and took him home. On their way, Mac screeched in the car. Ah, ah, ah! But it was not far. Brian gave Mac to Linda, who said, this little one must be hungry. <laughs> she fed Mac with a turkey baster, petted him, and always kept him warm. Day after day, Matt got bigger and bigger and louder and louder. He met the cat clinger and the big red dog, Ruby. Ruby the dog had to be fast and race over. She gave Matt a really big kiss on the face. She wanted to lick him all over the place. Clinger the cat had a funny look in his eyes. Mac wondered and pondered, what could that big cat be thinking? Awk? As Mac got taller, his box grew smaller. The sunroom is now Mac's new spot. Ah! His place has square windows, sunny, bright, and warm. Oh, how Mac enjoyed his new space. Mac shouted with glee, Ock! 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 I love my new home! Ock! As darkness set in, Mac was dreaming of his family. He loved Papa Brian and Mama Linda and that dog, Ruby. Clinger, the cat, was a curious one. Matt closed his eyes tight. What will tomorrow bring? Ock! 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 Zzz. He 
could play with the dog, run from the cat, search in the cornfield, even learn how to fly. As Mac drifted to sleep, he smiled, for he knew that he would see them all again soon. So this is the part of the book, it's an afterword, so it's a part where the author tells a little part of the story. Um, I read this in a previous story called Jamberry. So Mac was born in Northwest Washington State near Hoodsport. As a baby, he accidentally fell out of a tree. Mac was rescued and raised by Brian and Linda's son who considered him part of the family. Mac loved all the pets in the family. Ruby the dog, Clinger the cat, and a small deer named Fern. They were all friends. Fern as a fawn was also rescued by the sons. She was saved after being hit by a car near Olympia, Washington. We hope you all enjoyed Mac's stories and the adventures of Mac. Mac is truly a loving, funny, and mischievous bird. He had a big heart and enjoyed all who came to visit. The end. So I hope you all enjoyed Mac, Meet and Mac, our pet raven, a true story. And I hope you will be waiting for the other stories. So you'll have to come in back and watch to see the rest of them. Have a good one.